Today, we're going to be answering the question, how do you change your icon using shortcuts? And the cool thing about it is it's really easy to do. Let's take a look at how to do it. So here we are inside of shortcuts. And if you don't have shortcuts app, you'll just download it from the app store. And what you're going to do is I'm going to click right here. But for you, you will click this plus sign right here. And once you click that plus sign, it's going to bring you to this right here, which is an empty space for you to be able to do what you want to do in it. Now, first things first, we're going to say add action. And the action we want to add is going to be open app, which is going to be up under the scripting. So you can see it. This is it right here. This is the one we want. We're going to click on it. After that, we're going to click in here. Once we click in here, you can pick any app on your phone or on your device that you're on. You can use to open it. In my case, I'm just going to use YouTube. So right here, I'm going to say YouTube. And now if we want to test to make sure it works, let's just make sure that YouTube isn't already open and it's not. So what I'm going to hit is the play button in the bottom right hand corner. And you can see that YouTube in fact does open when we use that. So I can close that out. And now we're what I want to do is I want to add click right here on this share icon. Once the share icon open up, you're going to be met with this type of window. And what you want to do is you want to click on add to home screen. Once you click on add to home screen, you actually want to click right here. This allows you to choose a custom image. I'm going to actually choose from files, but you can also choose from photos as well. So I'm going to say choose from file and I'm going to just navigate over to my downloads folder. Once inside my downloads folder, I have two icons that I download loaded off the internet. Both of these are free icons, so I'm not breaking any rules. I'm going to actually go with this one right here. And now you can see that image appeared. It shows me how it's going to look. And now I can click on add to home screen. And once it's added to home screen, as you can see, is right here. Now you can see I have two apps right here because I had to redo this, but you can see this is it. If I click on it, you can see it pops up with no problem. So that's how easy it is to be able to use shortcuts to create custom icons. And the cool thing about it is it's not like back in the day where I had to open up. It'll jump to shortcuts, then it'll jump back to the actual app. It don't do that anymore. It just goes directly over to the app as if you clicked on a normal app. So it's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, make sure you leave them below. Till next time. Later.